want to show you how to use your handheld radio telemetry receiver during our field exercise. And depending on what's available on a given day and uh, what's charged up and ready to go for you, you might find either one of these in your kit that you'll check out for this activity. Uh, one of these on the right is a communication specialist model and it's made, this one uh, covers uh, from 164 to 168 megahertz. So, so you have to, when you purchase these, you have to purchase the specific range of uh, frequencies that you need. And in our class, we're using 164 based transmitter. So we need this person, this one. Uh, but for our wildlife research we do with the state and game of parks, we use 150, 151 frequencies. So we have a, a different transmitter uh, or a different receiver that we use for those. On the flip side, the Telonics one is made and it doesn't have any designations like that on it because it's made for a very wide range of frequencies. And so you just buy one and you're good. Uh, so that's one advantage. Um, the communication specialist is not made anymore. Uh, this has been a staple in our field for a long time. So you still, if you go out on a telemetry uh, job for an internship or one of your first jobs, you may still run into these. They're very common and they were very good receivers for a long time, but for some reason they don't make those anymore. Um, so the replacement, these were about six or $700. The replacement is the Telonics, and I think it's around $1,200, um, pretty sturdy. Both of them look like a uh, handheld uh, walkie-talkie, right? Um, they both have a place on the top for the antenna to go into. So you just push your antenna in. There's a little post on the side. It's a bayonet mount. And so you push your antenna in, and then you twist about a quarter of a turn to lock it. And uh, let's, we'll just stay on the top. Both of these have knobs. You'll notice that the Thelonics um, does not have uh, any markings on there. So you have to remember which, mark, which one's which. It's pretty easy to remember. We'll start over here with communication specialists. You turn on the receiver on the volume knob and you turn it up so you've got adequate volume. Um, the gain switch is the power switch. That's how much battery power it's pulling in and it's going to be providing power to the antenna. And so you can think of it, the, the more you have that gain turned up, the farther away you should be able to hear that radio. And then this dial is how you change the frequencies. Okay, as you turn that dial, you're changing the frequencies, but you don't want to do that. You, that, that changes like what the thousandth place in the frequency. Um, you don't want to do that. Uh, just use the dial. You're going to actually use the numbers. And so, if we want to put in 164, the difference on this one is you have to put the decimal point in 0.803, and then you click the enter button. Okay. So you, you use the dial pad. Use the dot, the decimal point, um, and then you use the enter uh, to get your frequency. And so now you should be set and ready to go. There will be a, uh, I don't have a radio with me right now, a transmitter, but when you hear the beeps, there will be an LED that pops across here as the beep is heard. Uh, so you're getting, uh, you're getting it, uh, you're hearing the sound of the beep, but uh, for those that have trouble with that, that is uh, also another function of this is that we have an LED that uh, shows when that beep comes in. All right, in contrast over here, so we'll turn this one off. In contrast, the Telonics turns on on the bottom. And so there's a power button here that we're just going to hold down until we see it. Okay. And it has a simple face. So if we want to put in 164, notice there's no decimal on the keypad. It adds it automatically. So we can put 803. So we don't put in a decimal. And then we still do enter is in the same spot. We're going to hit enter. And that will add our frequency in. Now both of these have a way that you can program them to store 
uh, frequencies that you're using. So if you've got 20 animals that you're following, you can you can follow them and uh, you can uh, pull those up so you're not having to type them in every time. But we're not gonna use that in the class. Now the two buttons up here on top, the left one is for the gain. And that, there was the other one, the communication specialist also had a gain. Interesting thing is when you get the gain up very high on this one, it'll actually, uh, the red light will stop blinking and sometimes, it's not doing it right now, but sometimes it'll actually give you a message that says gain too high. There it is, gain too high. And so we're gonna turn that back down. Um, you'll see there's no volume knob. Um, volume is set at, at the maximum for you. And so you're gonna play with that gain so that you can hear things better or uh, worse. Um, and so uh, you can actually see the readout for the gain here on this one. Uh, the right knob is for the dial. And so we can change things and we can actually change things at a finer um, frequency. We're, we're out at the 10,000th place here where we're changing the frequency. So you can really hone in on the, the type of sound that you want to hear, the type of beep, uh, whether it's a little higher pitch or a little lower pitch beep. Um, and so that's how we're going to use both these. We'll turn this one off again and if we were done, we'd be ready to turn that back in. All right, so that's how your receivers work. Uh, they turn on differently, in, and then they you punch in the frequency slightly differently. One has the decimal point, one doesn't. Um, but other than that, they're pretty much the same, and they, they use the same idea, um, and they're easy to carry around in your hand as you're doing the exercise.